Hey guys, uh, quick tutorial on Slow Loris. This utility uh, is a Perl script, and uh, its intention is an HTTPS denial of service tool. Um, so basically, what it does is it will connect to a specified website, and uh, it will open as many connections as it can, and it will hold them open uh, for a period of time. And it'll just basically once the once it expires, it's going to create a new connection. It's just going to sit there and hold it up. So basically, it just eats up all of the available connections for the website and just holds them open. Um, this blocks additional users from connecting to that website, so thus creating a denial of service. Um, so it's, uh, it's a script as you can see here. I'm using Backtrack Five. Um, don't normally use Backtrack. I use my own version of Debian. But uh, for the tutorial, I use it here. Now it's not included in Backtrack 5, so you actually have to get it from a website, uh, which I'll provide the link in the description here. Um, but basically, you copy and paste it and you drop it in a file called slowlores.pl. Um, so here we go. We can do Perl, and we're going to do slowlores, you space dash DNS, and then from here, you specify um, the DNS name. So. So this is the website um, that I'm going to launch the attack on. Um, this is a friend of mine's website. We actually went to college for security for this. Um, and as you can see, I have it right here. It's a pretty neat little website. Go check it out. Uh, since then, this has been patched. And I can tell you guys basically what needs to be done to patch this vulnerability. Um, so we're going to go ahead and launch it here. And it's going to build sockets. now. Since I was already connected to the page when it launched, I'm obviously just not kicked automatically. And that's not how it works. Um, but if we try to create a new connection, as you can see, it's just going to sit here and clock. So basically, this is SlowLorse is not going to allow any additional connections to this page. Um, now, let's go ahead and cancel that, and if we switch back, I bet we've loaded in. Let's go ahead and stop, refresh. Oh, Google can't find it. All right, so yeah, see what we can do, we just refresh right here, and uh, and, and that's it. So basically, the, this vulnerability is uh, mainly with Apache web servers. So the way to correct it is to uh, limit the number of concurrent connections from a single source. And this is done in the Apache configuration files. And basically, you can limit it down to 10, 20, maybe. I don't know how many connections you really need coming from a single source. But that that's all you really need to do. 